Yo. What's going on, everybody? Y'all, it's time for The Office UK S1E4 training. Training. All mm -hmm. right. What more else can we say except uh, this is a great slice of life? It is, man. Of office work. And it's it... just as translated over to US as it is over there. Yep, exactly. This is copy and paste. And 90% of people's office jobs are this. Pretty much. And that's not even considering the U.S. office that is very memeable. So Yes. And we still avoided it. Some way. Maybe for this moment. Maybe. Ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Shut up. Shit, tell me. Because at the end of the day, you can say something, and then it doesn't mean that you can't ever change your mind. Okay. Does it? It's not me that's changing my mind. It's you that's changing your mind. Fine, you always but do. what's wrong with that? We, I feel sorry for Dawn and Lee. If they have to call off the wedding, then sure, it will be upsetting now. But in the end, it's for the best. The thing about long-term marriage is that inevitably the sex suffers. You constantly have to find new and erotic ways of spicing things up in the bedroom. Well, it's a gift and a training. And you can either, it, it, it's, I was already good at it before I was trained in it, and now I'm trained there. People are just trained in it and won't. Well, today's our, our staff training. So you train these, these guys up before? I do uh, a couple a year. This is uh, Rowan, our facilitator right. for the day. It's good to get an outsider now and again. Just, oh, well, it keeps them sort of interested. Well, and uh, it's what I trained in. I have a, an MBA from uh, Bradford. Yeah, I've, which... I'm trained in it as well. I could have done this myself, but let me, let me tell you about, about what today is all about. It's well, about can, customer... Wow, well, it's my thing. It's about customer care, really. Investment in people, i.e the staff, letting them know that they are our most important commodity. And if they've got a problem, it's my problem. If you're cleaning <laughs> a floor and you're up against it, then come to me and I'll help us clean our floor together. So, not literally. It's one of those problems that you just got to let them deal with that. <laughs> Dude, I've been in uh, a situation in an office similar like that, where someone was just having a terrible day. A personal L. But, you know, we can't afford to take a day off for feeling's sake. Because why, why, why would you? So they had to work through it. And that was the most awkward day. That was the most awkward, non-productive day. Because that person was having an off day. Hey, and, there's, and, those, and, there's those fact yeah. reports. And it's just like, go home, dude. But I'm not saying your shit isn't... isn't isn't important but if it's important take the day off get mm -hmm. your shit squared away or not or this might be the last day we see you fair enough take that shit off the grounds because you're wrecking my vibe dude i yeah. don't want to be here now i definitely don't want to be here <laughs> it's just you're not going to be productive and everyone else in the office is not going to be productive no, no they've got it's... that in the back of their yeah. minds so it's just Oh, I, I feel bad, man. I feel bad. But it's that's the other thing. The office is no place for friends. No. Cold. No. Got to keep it cold. And I, I remember whatever. I don't know what it was that we did where we said that we don't make friends in the office. We don't do any of that. We do what I do. We need to do. Get our paycheck. Go home. Some in our audience were a bit taken back by that. And there's like, we make friends in the office. What are you talking about? You're crazy. That, that's a foreign concept right there i don't get that the office is supposed to be cold relentless productive machine you know what you signed up for to become soulless and empty and you'll die alone that's <laughs> what you signed up for it's not supposed to be rainbows and sparkles it's fucking dying miserably and slowly that's in the in the contract it's all in the name of making some corporate uh, CEO a lot of money to afford their third yacht. You think you matter to anyone in in your job? No. I'm sorry, guys. The quicker and, you realize that, the more tolerable it all is. Right. And nobody in the office has a sex life because the why go home and have sex with your spouse when you could just come there and get fucked five days a week? That's pretty much the mentality it is here. And yeah. yeah, you can be friendly with some people that you work with. Fuck them. <laughs> exactly. Like, to my point. I'm really sorry. 
things will be okay between you and Lee because you and Lee are going to be together and he knows that and if he doesn't appreciate that then he's mad and if I'll tell you, if he doesn't appreciate it I'll marry him <laughs> that's a flirt right Hello. there you're through to Keith I will be at training all day today please call me or leave a message and I will call you tomorrow he's so lovely no I'm not lovely I'm, no you are <laughs> snotty you're snotty and lovely I'd marry your snot <laughs> what's going on Nothing, it's fine. You're upset? No, Lee's. Hey, don't worry, right? Because Monkey Allen down in the warehouse, he fancies you even if no one else does, so... <laughs> wow. Now that, that's a compliment right there. That's exactly <laughs> what she needs. Some people just don't have tact, man. Oh, but that's man. okay, it makes them funnier. Man. Jesus. Everybody except her. Jesus. Oh, God. What was that? I can't say anything when they're like that, can you? No, you can't. I was doing okay. What are you doing with the Monkey Allen business? What, you fancies her? I'm just saying. Yeah, she doesn't need to know that, mate. It's Monkey Allen. Do you know what I mean? Even the name. I don't know who Monkey Allen is. Do you know what? I'm betting you that do. Monkey Allen... You know, he's a little, little bloke. No, little I don't bloke. need to know. No, it's not. Go away, please. Go over there. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. My name's Rowan, and I'm going to be leading us through today's sessions. Under me. Go on. Well, as, as David says, actually has, has briefed me, he says that a lot of what we're covering I think you'll be familiar with, but it's not necessarily a bad idea to recap anyway, and I hope that a few new ideas will be thrown into the pan as well. We're going to start by watching a video, so a nice and gentle start. It's a bit cheesy and a bit 80s, but I think a lot of the ideas are still, are still pretty valid. Good idea forever. It's a good idea forever. <laughs> Words to live by. Oh, man. I love that. That's awesome. Oh, God. I don't know why that's so funny. It's just how that's that's corporate. That's yeah. just corporate, dude. That's the most corporate shit you could say is a good idea forever. Period. No ifs, that, ands, or buts. What? That's I, why I could never work an office job or be in the corporate world. I just all you phony motherfuckers. I can't stand you. Well, they're not. They're not phony because I feel like they in the, the top top. They get money. So they believe in money. So they like that's it. They're like they're peons. Let's just push some push some bullshit. And if they don't like it, they're they're what is it called? Not oh fuck. They're replaceable per, pretty much. Or all re everyone at that level is replaceable. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and you say they have money on their mind, but at what costs? Oh no, no they don't have cost? souls. They sold their souls a long time ago. I know they sold their yeah. souls. But I do admire this man's this man's projector. I I that's yeah. I remember those man. The projector you slide that translucent piece of paper and it goes through some sorcery and gets projected on the fucking screen. Hey, yeah. I remember that. Worst yeah. times in class, I would always fall asleep. Or I'd just be in the back writing lyrics down. Or no, I'm not going to say too much. I'm not going to incriminate myself. Even though no. it doesn't matter at this point. There you go. <laughs> Who cares wins? Peter Purves? An unfortunate name. Hi. What's the single most important thing to your business? The staff. That's right. The customer. Coming out from a different angle. These are your profits for this year. And this is what you're doing to those profits if you underestimate the value of customer care. That's not real money. Do you know why? Because you'd be mad to burn it. No, because it's illegal to destroy or burn anything containing the Queen's image of the realm. Can we just watch the video? On it. Yeah, that's true. Statistics show that if you're treated well as a customer, you'll tell five people. If you're treated badly, you'll tell nine. So can you set fire to a postage stamp? No. In fact, a postage stamp is legal tender. A bus driver would have to accept that. That's currency. That'd happen. Well, if he doesn't, report him. Put him on and walking home. Actually, if you've got enough stamps. Or oh, cash the post office. You shouldn't have to. Oh, God, here we shouldn't go. Have to. Here's a typical office. <laughs> I always hated that. Or or just really loved that because uh, just, if you, especially if someone has so much invested in the video, that's just so annoying when everyone just starts having a conversation about something completely unrelated to it. Yep. Hey, that's my life when I watch movies at home. When I do. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. My wife is not, she does not like movies that I watch, right? She, so she'll just talk over them. I'm like, bro, 
I'm trying to watch a movie. And then it's gone down to my son where he's just like talking to me. And I'm like, watch him, bro. This is why I watch cartoons. This is why I'm just like, fuck it. Uh, I'll just cave. Do you do you just need a movie night away from everybody else? Yeah, that's why I love our Patreon. That's movie night for you. Yep, that's movie night, man. And when we do talk, it's paused. Hey, we can continue on without interruptions. Right? Oh, really? Are you the team? Excuse me. I am in a hurry. I'm on the phone. God, some people rude. Anyway, I must tell you about George. It all started about a year ago. And I saw Well of... done. That customer won't be bothering you again, ever. Let's see what should have happened. Awful, isn't it? Oh, really? And I said to him, Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'll be with you in one moment. Sorry, Jean. I'm going to have to go. I have a customer. I'll call you back at a more convenient time. All she had to do was acknowledge the customer's presence and end her personal call as quickly as possible. This is what we call the customer care tree. So, you're pre- so much cheese there. So much 80s. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I love that. I love that they were showing videos from the 80s during this time frame because that's exactly how our schools did it, too. Just every oh the bad acting and just the glamour just, shots quality like, there i feel like anyone nowadays on their cell phone could produce a better video than 90 to 100 percent of the videos we were forced to sit through we all have it in our cell phones now that's ridiculous thank goodness it reminds me of like the what is it the alan partridge when he yeah. was doing those, when he was like super fat, doing, doing that those shit. commercials. <laughs> Love that. Anyway, I don't know why I uh, thought about that. Prescription uh. will be ready on Friday, madam. Fine. See you Tuesday. So if you put together a crack team, don't let your business get taken hostage by complacency. Make your motto, who cares, wins. Hey, I know you. Can I have your autograph? Oh, of course you can. Thank you, Mr. Noakes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Then. Right, that's that. <laughs> what we're gonna? John Noakes. Well, they work together on Blue Peter. That's what they're. Oh, can I? Yes. Use... Use... Sure, Use... Yeah. Right. Well, you've all seen the video. Now it's time for the dreaded role play. Uh... We'll kick off with your leader, David Brent. David, if you'd like to come up here. Mm. Big round of applause for David. Cheating, really. I've done this before. Oh, good. Oh, well, that should make it a lot easier for us. Yeah. Well, nice and simple to start with. Hard as you like. Uh... Well, let's just kick off with something nice okay. and easy. Right, I want us to, to uh, play out a scenario that sure. highlights customer care. Okay. All of you have to deal with people, all and the it's time. always possible to improve your people skills. Right, in this scenario, we'll start with something nice and easy. I'm going to play, and, and this will be the wrong way to do it, I'm going to play a very bad hotel manager who just doesn't care. And If it's a Basil Forty type character, then with that uh, maybe I should do it just for the comedy. Yeah. Let me just yeah. play just to kick things off. I'll probably bring so much to this role anyway, so... Right. Okay, Wait. well, you've <laughs> got a complaint. Someone complain, and I'll show you the, the wrong way to handle it. This will be the okay. wrong way. Uh, so, off we go. So, what's the complaint? Well, you know, just, just make it up. Anything. Because there's no right or wrong thing in this scenario. Then we tell you the right thing afterwards, so... Okay. We might as well... Right. Yeah. right. I'd like to make a complaint, please. <laughs> don't care. Well, um, I am staying in the hotel. I don't care, so it's not my shift. Well, you're an ambassador for the hotel. I don't care. I, I don't think you'll care, care when I tell think. you what the complaint I is. I think there's been a rape up there. <laughs> <laughs> I've got his attention. Get their attention. That's one way to get their attention. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, shit. You're just role playing. And you just drop like a nuke. It's just like, bro, who, what are you trying to do in a rape? Why is that in your arsenal of improv lines? I don't remember that episode of Faulty Towers. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's awesome. Holy crap. This guy's face on the screen right now is exactly like, whoa, bro. Whoa, my bad. This is not acting class. No. You, you can just chill out, man. God. <laughs> Gotta spice up the office life somehow. Dude, I guess. I, I just love his, his character, how it has to be. He has to be in charge of 100% of everything. And he has to be unwaveringly, like, the lead of mm -hmm. the office. And to a fault. So he, he will command attention, no matter what. That's oh, fucking it, awesome. It's... It's bit main character energy, even though he is the main character in this show. <laughs> it's, oh, my God. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Whew, deep breath. Oh, oh. 
Right, so it was some <laughs> very uh, interesting points flagged up there. It's not not, uh, not quite the point I was trying to make. Different today, points to be made. I'm more into <laughs> really in customer care. So am I. And the way that we would uh, I phased, deal with somebody. I phased, maybe I should, as I thought, I should play the hotel manager because I'm used to that. I phased you. But uh, you have a go. See if you can phase me. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, I wish to make a complaint. Not interested. Uh, my room is an absolute disgrace. Don't uh, care. The, the bathroom doesn't appear to have been cleaned. What room are you in? Uh, 362. There is no 362 in this hotel. Sometimes the complaints will be false. Good. <laughs> oh, why? Dude, if I was that guy, it doesn't matter. So gotta solve the problem. It's a jo your job is just to give the presentation, not bring peace to an an office. You're doing too much. Just take the L, get the money, get out. <laughs> David just wanted to channel Basil Fawlty. That's all he yeah, wanted that's to all do. That's all he wanted to do. He didn't give a damn about conveying the idea. He just wanted to channel Basil Fawlty. Oh man. Good thing we checked that out before this, yeah. right? Yep, because of our journey, I'm getting so many references, just not just in this specifically, but in just in general. I yeah. get so many more references. It's made us more cultured. Yes. Something like that. Today is really about all of you getting to know and trust each other. So before the next exercise, what I want us to do is just spend a few minutes with... Sorry, can I have a quick moment? Oh, come oh. on. Fuck off. What I want us to do is for everyone to tell me their name and their ultimate dream, their ultimate fantasy in life. I'll kick things off. My name's Rowan. And uh, my dream is that I would love to have my own island. David. It depends what you mean by ultimate fantasy because time travel is actually impossible. Yeah. So there'll be no well, point just, in wasting. Just didn't interpret it any way you like. Well, if you're talking about anything that could or could not be possible, <laughs> actually, anything that could be conceived of to, to happen or, or not within my realm then probably some sort of everlasting life you know what i mean it's sort of just a spiritual sort of religious sense but i'm actually to experience the future and live on and on you know what it's like to live forever i'm starting to know what that's like come on leave him i've been engaged to lee for um god about three years uh, he proposed on a Valentine's Day. Um, we didn't do it face to face. He did it in one of the little um, message bits in the paper. Um, he had to pay for it by the word because it just said um, "love, dawn, marriage?" Question um, mark. You know, like because it's not often you get something that's both romantic and thrifty. Don't. Oh my God! Oh, oh my mom again. Dawn, do you want? Okay. Um, uh, trust exercise, ultimate fantasy. Hmm? Doing the ultimate fantasy, just, we all doing it. Two lesbians, probably. <laughs> I'm just watching. Hey, at least he's honest, you know? <laughs> yeah, he walked right into it, and he's honest. So, yeah, you know what? You don't, don't agree with that guy? I like him. Because I know who he is. We that's all know guy, him. That's the guy in the office that's just like, yeah, sure. You're like, weird. But, no filter. Point, there's nope. guy's not going to stab you in your back. <laughs> no filter. Yeah. If he's gonna screw you over, you, you're you gonna know it. <laughs> yeah, because he's gonna tell you. Like, much. Man. Love that. Uh, uh, okay, uh, do you have one? Yeah, I never thought I'd say this, but can I hear more from Gareth, please? <laughs> okay, uh, next exercise is all about motive, and uh, that's gonna be a key word today, motivation. So, uh... What would you say was your motivation for working here? Being part of a team, I'd have thought. Oh, yeah, well, just let him answer. No, I'm saying probably what he'll say if you ask him. Yeah, I am asking yeah. him, and I'd really like him to answer. Yep. Do you want to answer him? Thanks. Yeah, the job's just a stopgap, really. Wow. The job's not difficult. I'm hating my work home with me. It's pretty brainless. Well, at your level, maybe, but... but ultimately, we... I want to play music, yeah, music and uh, play in a band. Good luck. Been there, done that, bought the T-shirt. Okay, Next. So uh, when yeah. Yes, he did. Yes, Ricky Gervais did. That was one of the things that shocked me most, is about the um, Ricky Gervais, most hated man in Hollywood, from Jimmy the Giant, yeah. finding out he was a pop singer at one point. And didn't he chart once? Yeah, he had a charting hey. song or two. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Band. Like a, a rock band, yeah. to be called. Foregone conclusion. Look, David, I'm not absolutely sure this is really the right time. Well, you know, I've got a field one... questions. And David, oh, just admit, what did you do in the group? Singer-songwriter. Right. Yeah. Lyrics man mainly, but you know, music came easy as well, so... Okay. So, uh, any more questions for David? No? Good. Well, you didn't give him a chance. Did you want to say something at all? Um, were you successful? 
Were we successful? I'll let you be the judge of that when I tell you that we were once supported by a little-known Scottish outfit called Texas. And I get all this, oh, David, you know, brilliant singer-songwriter. You're stuck in Slough. Well, it's Texas that are off, you know, all the money. And they're rubbish compared to you. And I go, don't slag them off. I say, I've been there. I've done that. You know, behind me. You know, with our respect. The thing is, uh, we're both good in our own fields. I'm sure Texas couldn't run and manage a successful paper merchants. Yeah? Couldn't, you know, actually, I could do what they do. And I think they knew that even back then. Probably what spurred them on. Is that the music? Oh, okay. This, I, I only play songs I've written myself, so... You went home to get it. Basement came down to answer some things. The world gathered round from pubs <laughs> to kings. What? I'll answer your questions, I'll answer them true. I'll show you the way, you know what to do. Who is wrong and who is right? Yellow, brown, black or white? The space money answered, you no longer mind. I've opened your eyes, you're now colour blind. Racial. She's the serpent who guards the gates of hell. What? Why? Poor guy. I. You know what, though? This is how it, it all breaks apart. In every situation. Yeah. But there's a guitar involved. And this is coming from someone that does that. Have the aware social awareness to not know that not every social situation requires a guitar. Yeah. So be the D-bag with the guitar at the office meeting. Yeah. Bring it unless it's asked for. Yeah. God. All right. So the whole thing is about him, which is fine. Which is the show. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It probably was written just for this show, but I don't know if those are any good songs, man. They weren't terrible, but I think he, he's better as a paper mill runner. I mean, at the same time, I've heard worse. There's yeah. worse out there. Yeah. Which could be said at, at, for all art. Right. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. excuse me. Yep. Pretty girl on the hood of a Cadillac, yeah. Broken down on freeway nine. Uh, take a look, get her engine started. Uh, leave a purr and then I roll on by, by, by. Free love on the free love freeway. For the love is free and the freeway is long. I've got some hot love on the hot love highway and going home cause my baby's gone she's dead she's not dead <laughs> long time later see her boy crying he says hey buddy what can i do he says i lived a good life about a, about a thousand women i said well why the tears he says because none of them was you you no, he's looking at a photo of you no of his girlfriend it, the video would have shown it. Yes, yeah, it sounds a bit gay at the moment. It's not gay. <laughs> free love on the free love freeway. The love is free and the... I got some hot love on the hot love highway. And going home because my baby's gone. She's gone. Free love on the free love freeway. The love is what free is this? and the free what is long. I got some hot love on the hot love highway. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually not bad that's a great one right there <laughs> i love this man's face he's like <laughs> why my job yeah why, why am i doing with my life and and i love how gareth and whatever the guy's name is like they they put about the lyrics and just talking with that made it for me <laughs> yeah he's like gay like no no no, i'm gonna a photograph of you like no no no. oh god i love this like because what happens is he's taking himself too seriously in this meeting that they all stop work for and so everyone's egging him on because it's easier to sit through his singing than some dumbass death by powerpoint for mm. motivation yeah this good motivation right here is david's song yep i i first two weren't too good this one's great right that's lunch okay <laughs> to say that Jumping Jehoshaphat. What was that song about? <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that about? What's, he, what's Warren doing telling people to say please? <laughs> if they don't know, I'm sorry, you don't deserve a job. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Right, I do, yes, better. thank you. Good. You okay? Oh, for all about him is not worth it. I go through this sort of thing all the time. Although it's usually me who dumps them. Well, he didn't, no one dumped anyone. It was just an argument. Well, you should come out with me, I'll find you a new bloke. Mm -hmm. It was just an argument. 
Well, I'm just saying. Thanks. That's nice. You okay? Yeah. Don't want to pry, but I mean, where have you? Your personal problem. And I wouldn't be the the boss or the man that I am if I didn't lend, you know, of encouragement. So. Oh my God, a song. <laughs> oh, no. Bro. Yes. Oh. This only ends well. All the time. Oh. It's historic. This is tried and true way to make everything better. Yeah, a song. Yep, Goodness. this is it. Way to, way to be caring. So I wrote, I I it helps. Rolls you never used your thorns. The ones you loved abandoned you. Your angel face made hearts so warm. You helped the sick, but who helped you? Then rushing through the Paris night, they hounded you, you lost control. We prayed that you would be all right. The news came through your body cold. Good night, my sweet princess. What? What's that? Originally about Princess Diana. Originally, but fits perfectly, doesn't it? <laughs> Not the car crash bit. Your relationship with Lee is a bit like a car crash. In that? Oh. of love. You're right, if it's perfectly, thank you. <laughs> Smart dip out. Every breath you take, every move you make, yeah. Uh, Forgot this guy? Did they not come back? I don't think they came back. Oh, man, okay. Hey, on David for trying to help, but that, that, oh, no, there's no, like, in the middle in terms of that reaction. It's like absolute wrong thing with the absolute right thing. And yeah. I guess it worked, kind of. It's uh, just, like, just so awkward. Yeah. It made Dawn forget about Lee for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I really do want to disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Not the way, but okay, cool. Oh, my God. Yeah. Let's see. This guy. This guy's yeah. my hero right here. Yeah. Let's see if they actually come back. They probably won't, though. Mm -mm. Being dumped is the perfect was excuse dumped. to do all the things you ever wanted to do. I wasn't dumped. And I actually... I have been thinking of leaving. Oh, I meant Shaggy. How long have you been thinking of leaving? What's that? Who's leaving? I am. Well, that's just stupid. you got a job here for life. Yeah. Actually, I want to spend my life answering phones and some crappy sub-branch paper merchants. Dawn, work hard. You could be answering those phones in head office. Or a better paper merchant. Gareth, she don't want to waste their life in paper. Not a waste, actually. Not a waste. Look at Jeff Lamp. 42 years old. He's got his own Porsche. That's from paper. How long have you been thinking about leaving? <laughs> and are you going to lay down any of those tracks, you see? It's got a lot of them on demo, ain't it, from the band days, but, you know, they're ten years old, so if I wanted to send them out, I'd have to, you know, today lay down some drum and bass shit on them, like sample that shit. And if you take band back out on the road, are you going to need any help with that? Look, I'm sorry to... Hold on, man. To... What are you saying? You know, need a manager. Well, I'd probably manage myself, you know. Yeah. Like your assistant manager. You could be assistant to the manager. Hold on, shoot. Yeah, it's just, yeah, we've got to get through and... Yeah, no I'm here. Do you want to go and get him over here, because Ryan wants to crack on with this? Okay. Just get him over here. Done. Imagine him in a band. Bald old kit on the... It's a glass, be stupid. So, what's the vibe in the second half? Because... Yeah, not all this company. I've worked for various high companies over the years. So, how did you get into to doing this, then? How did, how did you start? Did you doing what I do? Um, well, there are lots of ways, really. Are you, you think you're doing it? Well, I wouldn't mind, actually. It, it looks like it's quite good, you know. Yeah, like, quite interesting. Right, uh, this exercise is all go. about forward planning and teamwork. Uh, I need to uh, put you to pairs for this. So, um, well, if you can go with Tim. God. And, uh, then, uh, yeah, all right. so I wouldn't want to be stuck with you in a situation a either. either. What, a a situation? Who then, would you uh, rather be with them on a team desert team island then, Gareth? With, with some yeah, whittling wood and berries? Daily Thompson. That's great. Two, two, fine. Okay, let me uh, give you a problem. Um, a fox, not, not pictured, um, has a chicken, uh, a bag of grain, and a fox, and he needs to get them from one side of the river to the other. But, and uh, Rob, his boat is only big enough to take one, one item at a time. So I want you to work out in what order he takes them across the river. Okay. Remember, uh, you can. Minutes, okay? Okay. Take the fox first, um, because the chicken will eat the seed. That's a lot. OK, uh, take the grain first, because you can't leave the fox and the chicken together. Fox and the chicken together? <laughs> Bloodbath. Yeah, I know. Um, give the chicken with the grain. 
Hello, chicken. Thank you, Tim, for leaving me with my favourite food. Yes, I was saying, Gareth, you can't do that, all right? Uh, well, how big is this chicken? It's the same size as a bag of grain. <laughs> I don't know. Big chicken. Yeah, how big? Big. It's a super chicken. Mm. What's a farmer doing with a fox? Fox is a farmer's worst enemy. He should just drown the fox in the river. Gareth, it, it's, it's a puzzle. You know it's a puzzle. Yeah, well, stupid. It doesn't mean anything. What, is, what are we learning from this? It's not about learning. It's just a problem to be solved. Put the grain on a wall? It's not a wall. There's always walls. Not either, isn't it? Well, it's just nothing. Mm. It's just a farm and a river. Get his wife to help. He ain't got a wife. All farmers have wives. Not this one, he's gay. Well, then he shouldn't be allowed near animals, should he? What? <laughs> what? Shouldn't uh, be around animals. Interesting, interesting. I, I mean, I'd even awake enough to try to solve that. <laughs> but how you solve this is you drown the fox in the river, and then you take the chicken over, and then you take the grain over. Think outside you, the box. Yeah, stop farmer at that point. Yeah. Like, so, boat, dedicate yourself to a life of piracy. And sail yeah. the open seas. Yeah, yeah. Probably a test to think of who would think outside the box on things like this. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. The grain. In the grain. Yeah. Oh, come on. Leave him, Dawn. He's got to take the chicken first so he can leave the yeah. with the grain. Sorry, tell him. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll... This is more receptive to me. No, but it's straightforward. Okay, right. Uh, here's the uh, answer. Uh, first, he takes the chicken across, leaving the uh, fox with the grain. Fine. Then he comes back and takes the fox across, but he brings the chicken back with him. Uh, then he takes the grain across, leaves it with the fox, and finally he comes back for the chicken, and he's done it. Uh, now, you all got the answer. Easy. Uh, yeah, but the important thing here is that you were all working as a team. Sorry, Gareth. Yeah, some questions. I hope that what uh, that exercise demonstrated was that it's vital that every member of a team follows a leader. Knows, well, knows their place within a structure. Some may he be leaders. He knows best, and, uh, or she. That whoever is in if charge may be the person that... Uh, it, it may be women or men, yeah. of course, but that somebody ultimately may be scoring the goals, that. but... Um, Enough. No, of course, absolutely. But so, it doesn't matter whether you, you may not be the person that apparently <laughs> well turned in leadership. It's important that you know your exactly. place and that you're really <laughs> little, that you are supported by. Okay. Maybe we should just move, move on, on at this stage to another okay. another exercise. Yeah. What about this one? What do we uh, think might be the lesson here? Dogs. Say what you see, Gareth. <laughs> Give a dog a bone. I don't believe it. It's not Roy Walker, Gareth. All right, then what is it? Um, if we pull together in the same direction, it's better for all of us. Yeah, they could be fighting over them bones. They're not fighting, they're smiling. In the picture, maybe, but in reality... The, uh, the ...here is that if the team is focused on its objectives and those of the individual members, then it's easier for everyone to achieve yeah. their goals. It's like the, uh, the fable, you know, the, the dog's got a bone and he goes down to the lake to get a drink and he sees his reflection and he goes, oh, that dog's got a better bone than mine, I think I'll have his as well. And when he opens his mouth to get the bone that's a reflection, he drops the real bone yeah, and uh, he loses uh, both. Uh, and what's that got to do with this? It's what Gareth was saying about if we've got our bones, don't go for other people's bones, fight over because you'll lose your own. What does that mean? Oh, do you know? Bones. Was... I'm bored of this. Oh, I'm so bored. Yeah. So me. No, so I don't mean this, I mean everything. The job. I'm bored of the job. Sorry, Ryan, no okay. disrespect. Oh, wait, this is a waste okay. of time. Yeah. Wait, no, let's get on with this. I can't, no, now. I can't take any more of this nonsense. I can't take another boring call about Spa White Index Board at 230 a ton. So, 260. No, you're a twat. Okay, shut up. I will my uh, work out my notice. Okay, right now, I'm going. Goodbye. That's, it. Oh. That's reasonable. Be fine. That's totally time. reasonable. Oh, <laughs> oh, see? Pressure. Not as easy as it looks. Sometimes the experience outweighs the... Sorry, David. Dawn, I was just wondering, uh, now you split up with Lee, would you like to come out for a drink with me? Come on. I, 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 oh, oh! Quit and didn't get the girl. Damn. No, God, I know. Yeah, as a friend. So I didn't oh, mean as a friend. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Go. Leave. Yeah. Didn't come back. That's ah, rough. Go get the guitar. Oh. Why y'all just sitting there? Oh. Why do you, my love, when they have finally stripped you up? Seeing the handbags and the glad rags that your granddad had to sweat so you could buy, yeah. We used to have a political reggae one called Equality Street. Key. What the hell? That's <laughs> awesome. That's oh, just man. awesome. Yes, I played it to the end for y'all. Yep. Yep, now we know. Is I wonder... 
<clears throat> was this one of the first TV shows that had post credit scenes? Good question. <laughs> because us... that that has kept me glued to many a movie, unfortunately. Yeah, is the end part? Yeah. I, I thought Marvel did that for the first time. And I was like, oh, God damn you, Marvel. Mm-hmm. God damn you. Now I have to sit through the whole fucking credit. Like, man. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can't wait for the next one, man. This, this oh. is really funny. This is a really funny show. This is great, man. This yeah. is just, it's so unfortunately relatable. Yeah, to like, a fault. Oh, how oh, relatable man. it is. Yeah. I could, I could easily see how someone could misconstrue this as like a docu series. Because it pretty much almost yeah. is a docu series. Almost is, man. Yeah, yeah. the <clears throat> the line between sitcom and docu series is very blurry. Yes. Yes, it is very blurred. Very blurred, as Spencer was saying, as I just take over. Guys, we are working with uh, subpar country internet. It is infuriating. But given these pitfalls and hiccups and speed bumps, we try every day to meet up and give you guys some content. And we enjoy it as well. We enjoy it as well. It's a great step away. Um, it's something that I enjoy, you know, being a, a, a father to a five-year-old. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of time out there where I can, I can watch stuff freely, you know? So this is, this gives me an outlet to actually, to experience some, some sort of cultural stuff that you guys would have us watch. And it's, it's, it's very, it's a very nice reprieve from the busy busy day that i always have ahead of me now let's see if spencer has texted me all right um let me see let's see let's see he has he has he said i dropped which is weird because i don't see him huh And he's like, I dropped him, but I'm still in the room. Hmm. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know what happened, man. But yeah, I was like, you dropped. I was like, I'm still in the room. <laughs> I see the timer. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. That's... Are we still recording? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, Wrap thanks up. for watching. Subscribe, w- watch another video. Thank you for patronage. Yes. What do you, what do you say, uh, Dan? Unplug, do something crazy, guys. Yep. See y'all next time. Later.